Hi, I'm Matthew. And I'm Megan. And this is Take Two with, with Flair. Flair. I first saw Megan um, running at the Character Games in 2010, actually on TV. She actually won the Character Games in 2010. And that's when I first actually like laid eyes on her. Him like winners. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, so I first saw um, Matthew at Sovereign. He asked his friend that went to Wilmot to introduce him to me uh, there. So yeah, that's when I met him. It was cool because I saw him around before and I was like, oh, cool. Now I meet you. Now I know who you are, you know? So. Yeah, and it wasn't a situation of at the time or oh, I was interested in you or anything like that. But I mean, she, she, had, she had impressed me from the character games. I was a fan. So I, I, I walked up there and I was like, hi, I'm Matthew and I'm your biggest fan. Yeah, yeah. She was with her boyfriend at the time too. <laughs> yeah. So when did you guys decide? Okay, let's get serious. In 2011, after we went to a party. Yeah. So we, we we actually became best friends shortly after we met, and I had a girlfriend, she had a boyfriend, so we're just like really really good friends. And then her thing didn't match up. Or? Yeah, yeah, my thing didn't mash up. Nothing yeah. has having to do with me, and my thing mash up. Nothing having to do with him. Yeah. Let the record state. Yeah. Let the record state. Yeah. And after our friends were like, "No man, you guys, it's a, it's a done deal. Like, come on, you guys should get together." Because I honestly didn't think about it until they were like, "Why not?" Because I was actually hooking up, hooking him up with one of my friends. Do you remember that? Yeah, she was trying to set me up with one of her friends. But so. Yeah. We were too close, so it would have been like mm, weird, you know. He came to my house and we'd chill a lot and talk a lot, and I went to UTEC with him, so we'd walk up and down and talk for hours instead of going home and stuff like that. So that was our kind of date, and it wasn't really going out and eating because where the money would have come from, high schoolers or college people. But um, yeah, in college, we used to hang out a lot. I remember going to UTEC when he was there, and I was still at Andrews, and it was just me and him. It was kind of sad, like at the time. No, it was kind of sad because she'd be in classes, I'd be outside the door. I'd be in classes, she'd be outside the door. It was bad. <laughs> I remember one time I was in class and it was my birthday and everybody was like, Megan, Megan, Megan. And when I looked through the window, Matthew, it was a glass window. Matthew had up a sign that said, happy birthday or something like that. And I was just like, oh, I mean, I was always, Love and Basketball is my favorite movie. So I was always the romantic type and having the boyfriend that's always around because that's what they had, you know? In college, laying down on the grass, looking in each other's eyes, that's what I wanted. So when Matthew came along and that's exactly what he gave me, it was just like, okay, big up you, manifesting love. <laughs> yeah. In 2016, uh, there was a whole thing at the stadium where she was, <laughs> She had just won the national championship. I had just graduated, I think. No, New Tech. We, yeah. graduated. we didn't graduate yet. We graduated in June. In November. You finished school. Yeah, so school. we finished school. Yeah, we yeah. finished school. Yeah, and I was working in Florida. Came down and I had this grand proposal plan because I knew she should have won. So the whole plan was she should have been on the podium and I came out with like a big sign and, you know, big fiasco. Never worked out the way I wanted it to, but proposed that night still. and. Yeah, she said yes. yeah, she said yes. Initially, we didn't want a wedding. Um, yeah, we're into the whole big thing, but her aunt, Auntie Marie, she was like, you know what? Let me do everything. Mm -hmm. you don't worry about anything at all. So, like, most of what happened, I. Was Auntie Marie? Yeah, we weren't a part of it. Yeah. She I just showed up. Basically. Pretty much. I mean, we made important decisions like mm -hmm. where it was and well we agreed on where the options that she gave us uh she showed me some dresses i guess and i, I chose one uh and she ha she got the family to help out yeah. you know because we were determined that we were college students basically we we're just graduating just starting our lives we never had any money to pay to feed nobody at no big wedding and that was a huge thing for us as matthew said not uh spending money that we didn't have so she got the family to help her with that which is really we're really grateful for and then we're really happy that we gave in to her 
you know because yeah. at first we're like auntie's fine no it's okay but she's very persuasive <laughs> yeah and so. it was uh, to be honest like if anybody's out there considering not get like doing a big wedding do it do it like that night was probably one of the best nights of my life That's because it was thing. magical like it was really magical it was something special so we both trained at utec um mvp throughout university um, 2016 i stopped with utec took a year off and then she was still training there um now comes world championships in 2019 um at the end of that season she said she wanted a change um she decided that she had wanted to work with uh, philip who is the austrian national coach and the plan was she would work with philip and have somebody administer the program at that time i was still training so that i was an athlete uh so she was trying to figure out a way for it to work couldn't work couldn't work anywhere else so um i said you know what megan i really want to support you in the best way that i can so i'm going to stop running because i was coaching at the time too. i was coaching at immaculate and i was coaching at a prep school and I'd, i i was a good coach I wasn't a professional coach it was okay but yeah i was a good coach so i decided you know probably i can step in and, and play that role and that's what i did and he well when was that he goes to say when was that official that, that i started to work with her october 2019. and how has that been megan it's been fantastic I, Matthew blows my mind, not every session, but a good amount of times because as a hurdler, we have a lot of niggles that uh, show up in training unannounced. Niggles meaning pains, injuries and stuff like that. And Matthew has proven very adept in knowing how to deal with these things. Uh, unbeknownst to me because I never know him did so smart. <laughs> I mean, not at this thing, but like, it's crazy how I can pivot from having a terrible session to a good enough session for the day because he knows exactly what to do to get my body in a certain place or he knows exactly what to give me so that the issues that I'm having aren't being uh, uh, aren't hampering what needs to get done for that session. So big up yourself, coach. Big up yourself, Philip. Yeah. Yeah, and the thing is for me, I felt like I had a lot to prove. Um, I know that a lot of people were looking at the, the choice at, in the beginning and like, yo, this is a dumb thing to do. But... We didn't care. Yeah, and I like committed 100% to learning about... Because I never knew anything about hurdles at all. You so did. I spent... No, I didn't. Before I left, Matthew, I would do videos at training and I would send them to Matthew. And he would be like, okay. You look like you're low, you look like you're high, you look like you're three legs. So he knew. I, I'm I not, knew enough. I'm not going to just give you the job so you don't know nothing. I, I knew enough. <laughs> I knew enough, but I didn't know enough to win an Olympic medal. And if I'm going Clearly to be working with you, not at the time. Oh. And if I'm going to be working with you, that's my goal, like mm. to be the best. Mm-hmm. So For sure. I dedicated a lot of time and money um, to learning the craft. And I love it now. Yeah. And how did you feel when she made a when she got the gold that's the story i was <laughs> the golden to. bronze the golden, golden bronze. bronze um he jumped over the fence nothing can compare to that feeling jumped over like the fence. after two years of working with your wife she's the first woman in the caribbean to win a medal i'm um, at one of the meter hurdles so how i was going on but police came to the house I was in the street, hyperventilating, like it was terrible. But I feel no way about it because that's the passion. You know what I mean? I mean, our life is revolved really around revolving, that. Yeah, yeah, around track and field. And to make that decision two years ago to see how it paid off, phenomenal. Like nothing can compare to that feeling. This is the Olympics of love. Round with me. So I will throw out a category, just one word. And you tell me who win the gold in that department and who win the silver. Household chores. Gold. Silver. <laughs> Track and field. Gold. Platinum. Okay, silver. I'll give you a brands. Sorry. This is where you say golden brands. <laughs> <laughs> no, since you're going to take the brands. It's the normal brands. Fashion. No she just saying some things. Um, silver brands. 
<laughs> okay, we take it. We take it. We take it. We take it. Romantic gestures. Cool. Well, I heard that you're into Netflix, right? Megan, so mm-hmm. what is your favorite TV show? What's your favorite TV show? Uh, Grey's Anatomy and Suits. <gasps> How did you think? No, but that's where at the bottom. So, yeah. Grey's and Frankie first is the only answer we're taking. The only taking the first answer, right? That can't no, be no, fair. She's just trying to that can't out. be she fair. Watches, like, you watch like 700 shows, bro. But that can't be fair. What food does Matthew like to cook the most? Food or pastry? Food or pastry? Food? What food do I like to cook the most? He says food. So do you like to cook the most? Or can it, can it be... Can it be... Does he cook the most? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the answer. You can turn the board. He does have to see. Turn the board turn to the, the camera. Okay, what's your answer? Jerk chicken. Yay! Bam, 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 bam. Megan get one point. I'm jerk and chicken every weekend. I don't know how. No, but that do doesn't mean he likes, likes to do it. Then I Does it mean he likes to do it? Megan? When That's he told true. me he loves to cook, so. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he'd be cooking something every weekend every if weekend he doesn't like yeah. That's true. Is Megan passive or confrontational? What is your answer? You know, smiley <sighs> face. <laughs> just straight face. So what's the score? 2-2? Two, two? I like I never just did not confirm it. <laughs> what's his favorite football team? I feel like she just want to win, you know. I like you. <laughs> just want to win. Chelsea is no longer my favorite football team. Yes, it is. For the purpose of this interview. She's no longer my favorite football team. She's, no, you can't get that. Listen. Point. I have China Christian. I have two. <laughs> so you're going to let Ami alone while we You are going to clearly. Yeah, but I'm, clearly. Not feeding, but I'm not feeding the question. Where does she squeeze the toothpaste from? The bottom. Oh my God. The middle. Or the top? <laughs> oh, anywhere. <laughs> Guys. For couples who want to go in business together, um, I think. It's a good idea. I would recommend though that both of you have to love what you're doing. So if you don't love it, I, I wouldn't tell you to jump into it because at some point, somebody's not going to want to be a part of it. So love it. Um, the second thing, second part of the question was the spark. spark. Um, I think that's always going to be up and down. Um, there's, I mean, generally there's the things where you can say, okay, you know, have dates and the this and the that but in truth and in fact life isn't always like that i mean you're going to have roller coasters no matter what it is that you're doing um but just try to understand that if you commit to it and if you really deep down love the person then you're going to have low low times you're going to have times where you feel like you can't continue with the person but have faith um have faith and hopefully love will prevail and the counseling yeah, the counseling. Don't shy away from counseling. It's definitely a huge thing. And just, on, I mean, basically saying what Matthew said, but in just clear terms, the love will die, the excitement will go, but keep, don't let that be your guiding light in a relationship because a relationship is so much more than the spark, so much more than the light. So try to find it back, but don't be too upset that it's gone because it will go. Just do things that both both of you love, like find the time to kind of spend with each other, learn about each other, because people always are people are always changing, and so you can learn new things and you guys can do things together. I think track and field really meshed Matthew and I together as a couple. So that. That's my opinion on the business too. Yes, I, I wouldn't say it's a good idea for most things, but because both of us love track and field the way we do, yeah. 